Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about APIs and how you can connect them to Integromat in order to create workflows, in order to create projects. Um, and if you don't know what an API is, API basically stands for Application Program Interface. And in simple terms, is a set of functions and procedures that allow you to access the features and data of an application, right? It's just a way for, for you to connect. Um, to an application. Now, this video is being recorded on March 2020, and we are all currently on a lockdown due to the coronavirus. So I thought for this example, in order to show you how an API works, I'm going to use a relevant API, which is a coronavirus tracker. Now, this is a website called thevirustracker.com, and it gives you a live update of all the uh, numbers, you know, the total uh, number of people infected, the deaths, the recovered, and so on. But they also have a free API. Right. So uh, the first thing you got to do, guys, when you're when you're working with an uh, with an API, you got to look at the documentation. The documentation is going to give you information on how to use the API, because an API is going to have so many different endpoints and so many different variations on the URL. Right. That's all always going to give you different data. So first of all, you got to know what you what, what kind of data you're looking for. Now, in this example, what I want to do is choose a country and then create a spreadsheet which is going to update every one hour or every 12 hours you know with the country name the total cases and the new cases in that country really simple so what i'm going to do is try and find the best api endpoint right so this right here is an endpoint right that's going to give us the global statistics this right here is an endpoint that's going to give us all country statistics. This right here is an endpoint that is going to give us the country statistics for a specific country, right? So this is what I want to use. So I'm going to copy this URL. And as you can see, this is going to give us the total for the US, right? So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to Integromat. And what you need to do, guys, in order to make a GET request for an API is use the HTTP module, which you can just search for, and then choose as an action to make a request, right? Go ahead and paste your URL, your API URL, and then as a method, we're going to use GET because we want to get data from that URL. We want to request and receive data from the, that URL, right? So we're going to use as a method get, and then we also want to parse the response. What that's going to do is that it's going to make the response. Actually, let me just run it without that. So you can you can see the difference. So when we make a get request, as you can see, here is our input. This is the request. This is the URL. And this is the method, which was a get method. We asked to get data, and this right here is the response we received, the output. If we go to data, this is the data we received. Now, this is a JSON um, format, right? And it's not very useful when we want to add that data to a spreadsheet. What is better to do is parse the response. So now, if we run, if I run this, the response we're going to get is going to is going to be more organized. So if I click on data, as you can see now, the country data is organized in an array. And then all the details are organized in a collection. So now we have information, which gives us the title, which is uh, the, the country name, the country code, right? And then we also get all the numbers we need. So this data now is going to be much easier to input to a spreadsheet. So what we're going to do next is add a module, which is going to be the Google Sheets module. And I want to create a new row, right? I want to create a new row. Let me choose my spreadsheet here. So it's the Integromat tutorial. The sheet is sheet one. It already has headers, right? So I have the headers right here. And what I want to do is populate these values, right? So I want to make the country. So this right here gives me the data I received from the HTTP request, right? So I can go in the data here. We have an array, the country data, the information, right? So we want the country name. Then here on the total, total cases, 
we want to go back to the array and find the total cases. Then we want to go back to the array for the new cases and find the um, total new cases today. Right? Let's click OK. And now we're going to go ahead and run this again. So it makes a GET request and it populates a value on our spreadsheet. There we go, guys. Total cases, new cases today. Now, if I want to run this every hour, I'm going to go here and run this scenario at regular intervals every 60 minutes. If I want to run this in a day, then I'm going to make this into the minutes of the day, right? Um, you can also have more advanced options and you can um, you can make this once, uh, you can make this every day. So this is going to run every day at a specific time. Or you can make it days of the week, days of the month, and so on. So that's how you um, make, uh, that's how you automate your workflow, right? So every single day or every single hour, I'm going to get a new row here with all the um, the total cases, the new the new number of total cases, and the new number of cases for the day. So I hope you guys now understand how the HTTP module works. This is going to be the most important module in this tutorial because all you got to do is just find the API you want to use, understand how it works by reading the documentation, you know, and understand what kind of data you can receive from each endpoint. It's always explained in the documentation, and then with the HTTP request module, you can make a request to a specific URL, you know, you can attach uh, query strings, you know, th there's a lot more you can do here, um, a lot more technical stuff. Um, and then once you get that data, always run your HTTP request first, see what kind of data you can get. And then after you get that data, you can then connect that data and pass it on to other modules, you know, in order to create your workflow and um, uh, make this work with your project.